the topic for this video is instruction cycle okay what is a program a program has many instructions to be executed so when a program is to be executed that means every instruction present in that program has to be executed and that instruction goes through a cycle every instruction has a cycle and that cycle is divided into four phases that is fetch decode decision and execute in this video we are basically going to learn about all the four phases in detail using this flowchart let me just brief you up about certain abbreviations ar is the address register pc is the program counter ir is the instruction register and D7 is the output of the decoder basically and I is the addressing mode bit that is in the instruction format. If you remember the instruction format has three things address, opcode and the one bit that defines the addressing mode. So let's begin with the instruction cycle. In the first phase that is the fetch phase initially the sequence counter is initialized to zero. Then, because the first instruction to be executed, its address is kept in PC, that is the program counter, and from there that address is stored in the address register. Now, that is all done during the first clock cycle. In the next clock cycle, the instruction from the memory denoted by that address register is brought to the instruction register. And now the program counter is incremented one by one that is it points towards the next instruction to be executed. These two things are done in the fetch phase. Now coming to the decode phase. In the decode phase we are actually decoding the instruction format. If you remember the instruction format was something like this. It was divided into three parts. Address, opcode and the I part. This is the 0 to 11 that is the 12 bits defining the address part. 12 to 14 that is the 3 bits defining the opcode and 1 bit defining the addressing mode that is it can be direct or indirect. So that is what we are doing is instruction register decoding the operation part that is the opcode from 12 to 14 bits the address register from 0 to 11 so 0 to 11 is the address part and I is the addressing mode that is the 15 bit that is this. This is done in the decode phase. Now moving forward to the decision phase, what we have to decide is the instruction is what kind of instruction. If you remember, there are three types of instructions, memory reference, register reference, input output reference. So we have to decide in the decision phase what type of instruction it is. It is defined by D7. D7 decides the type of instruction. Now. The opcode can have values from triple zero to triple one. That is D zero to D seven. Now, if the value of D seven is one, that is triple one. It will be either register reference or input output reference. But if it is any other value except one, it can be memory reference instruction. Now dealing with both separately, if it was one, it can be the register reference or input output reference instructions. Then the 15th bit will decide if it is register reference or input output reference. If the 15th bit is zero, that is something like instruction format triple one. And if it is zero here, it will be register reference that is 0 register reference if it will be 1 here it will be input output reference and whatever the type of instruction it is it is executed here and then the sequence counter is again set to 0 because the instruction is executed it is finished coming to the memory reference instruction the i value that is the 15th bit will decide if it is direct or indirect addressing mode if it is direct addressing mode nothing is done because the address part 
is the address of the operand itself that is the effective address therefore nothing is done and directly the memory reference instruction is executed but if it is indirect addressing mode firstly the effective address is brought to the address register and then the execution of the instruction is done and again sequence counter is set to zero so these are the four phases of the instruction cycle thank you